<laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm going to be leaving early. <laughs> oh, what a nice start. What a strike to have started out today. Unbelievable. Great shot. What's happening here watching ACST class A match? So, yeah, this isn't me bowling today. They just happened to uh, be bowling, and I live literally up the street from this place. So, they asked if I wanted to come down and record it like maybe 15 minutes ago. So, <laughs> uh, it's a nice shot right there. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come down here. I'll record this. It'll be a good time. <laughs> yeah. I was very thankful that they called me. It's always a good thing to get more content. Oh, what a shot right there. Nice try. Great try right there. Hoagie, what's happening, my man? We got some uh, random Wednesday bowling. This is the ACST Class A. Oh, there you go. Good shot. All right. Oh, what a shot right there. <clears throat> that went out for a second because I was trying to share it. Didn't really work, I don't think. Okay, there you go, nice ten. Wow, throws it so hard. <laughs> you guys were amazing last night. Trust me. Great shot right there. Beautiful shot right in the pocket. <clears throat> These class A boys oh, so good all the time. Just a little to the left there. I'm excited for it. Oh, what a shot. Oof. You'll have to definitely come up and introduce yourself since I don't know you actually personally. I only know you from this name. I know Mark and knows you, but. Oh, what a great fall. Oh. Yeah, Friday night's uh, my favorite thing in Amesbury to do. So I couldn't miss that. Because you found the perfect spot, Homestuck. That's why. <laughs> uh, phone call. Asking if I wanted to come down and record this match. And I was like, absolutely. I'll definitely be there. This place is literally like five to ten minutes from my house, so it's so nice. Tim, what's going on, buddy? Great seeing you showing up and uh, watching. Oh, what a ball. What a 
shot there. Yeah, this is significantly harder than uh, 10 pin bowling for sure. There you go. What a shot again. Right on the head pin. Oh, Lisa must be here. I'm getting my hand hearts. <laughs> Love you, Lisa. You're the best. <laughs> no, the lanes are not oiled here. It's just straight wooden lanes. All candlepin lanes are just straight wooden lanes. Same size uh, length as 10 pin lanes. No, I have, well, I have more than that, but I could be just wrong somewhere. Oh, okay. Yep, I had that as a spare. Oh, that went right in between them. Unbelievable. I am at the river. Yep. Tim knows 111, you gotta buy everyone around. That's the way it goes. Lemonade, of course. Yeah, I would never ask for anything more than a lemonade. <laughs> A shot right there. ball would have done it that other time. Got to go up to the two eights at that point. Hope they don't notice. <laughs> I'm not bowling now. Made. I'm just recording this match. These guys are too good for me. There you go. Right on the head pin again. It's that is hard to do. Clear all that wood. <laughs> nah, it takes it takes a lot more skill on this. Again. Again, right on the head pin, but man, a little too full. Shot. Unreal. Wait, these Seven. This is the time when we need uh, the 200,000 people like we had last night watching. <laughs> what a try on that one. What a try. Side. Uh, this is a legit bowling alley now. I don't understand the question. This has always been a candlepin bowling alley. It always will be a candlepin bowling alley. And it has always been and will always be candlepin. 
Right through. Uh, it's going great so far. These two bowlers have been outstanding through the first uh, game. Oh. Uh, if you're up in this area, you gotta give it a try. If you've never tried Candlepin bowling before. There you go. Got lucky with that other one falling down. things people say to me all the time. It never looks like we're having fun. I try to tell them, like, I swear we are actually having fun, but it just never looks like it. No, lanes are 60 feet long, same as a 10-pin lane. In fact, the newer uh, lanes that get put down are usually just 10-pin lanes. Oof. Um... So really, I think, I think you're just getting to see it more often. There's a few uh, Candlepin bowlers who have been uh, hosting a lot recently. Like, I only started doing this stuff about, I don't know, three or four months ago. And it's really been taken off for me, at least. Uh, so I really think that's what it is. There's just more people out there actually marketing it well. Uh, we got Keith Bupre and Dan Schoenard, if I'm saying his last name right. Chenard. Okay. Chenard. There you go. What a shot. Hit it harder. Oh. Oh, that pin was rocking back and forth. It should have gone. <laughs> oh, right on the head pin. I like it zoomed in just at least a little bit more. Okay, put it back. That's what I thought. <laughs> you never know. Some people might like to see these guys. A professional average, you're probably usually talking about 120. I mean... You're, you know, pushing it for the 115s, but usually 120 and above is about a professional average. There you go. Wow, nice shot. Yep, this is called candlepin bowling, the greatest form of bowling that there is. It's a little hard to tell. Oh, 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 right on the head pin. Without the uh, the score right up there, but yep. <laughs> no, this is not nearly the same as duck pin bowling. It's similar in the fact that you get three balls and then compared to candle pin. Nice shot. Duck Bin is more also like central east coast and Candlepin is just a northern New England thing. So like Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine and Vermont. Ouch. We are literally the only ones here. The door is locked to the outside. Keith. All over, what a strike. No. That's not true. Dan started with a strike, actually. 
Uh, that's Keith Beaupre, Dan Schonard, and I am Tony Levesque, the Magic Man. <laughs> yet, but we'll yeah. gladly take any sponsorship you guys want to give me. <laughs> hey, Andrew. I mean, Lisa's my sponsor right there. I am not bowling today. No. Um, I'm, just, I'm just recording uh, two very good bowlers do their Atlantic Candleton Singles Tour match. All right, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, just a touch off to the right-hand side there. Not off by much. But in this game, the, even if you're off by just a little bit, it makes a huge difference. Yes. This sport has been around since the 1880s, about 10 years before 10 pin bowling it was a sport, candle pin bowling was a sport. But it basically never took off outside of New England. Wow, what a nice shot. Um, I bowled Tuesday night, so I bowled all last night. Today I am not bowling at all, Andrew. That was a nice nine pin drop, nice ball. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Check that out, huh? What kind of action did he have there to make the ball come back on the wrong lane? Right on the head pin, right where he should be. Great ball there. And, oh, nice try. Uh, the Mixed Worlds Tournament is happening up in Nashua, New Hampshire, and that is close enough that I can drive right up there in uh, Nice ball. It really just kind of looks like that. Um, plus, this is just a very old house, very old lanes. They've kind of been beat up over the years. The lanes actually, you know, are, feel pretty good when you're up there. But yeah, the lighting does it no justice here. Pretty much just New England's version of uh, 10 pin bowling. <laughs> this is real bowling for sure. Yeah. That was a nice try on it. That's a very hard shot right there to make. I do have to try five pin bowling sometime. I have never tried it before, but it's something I'd like to do sometime. Dan Brooklyn side. Wow, this is a makeable shot right here. A difficult one, but a makeable one. Oh, that became a lot harder now. <laughs> a piece of wood was very favorable. head been he's too good right now he's right on it so many splits so far yeah 
Yeah, I was just home editing the video from last night and uh, got the phone call to show up here. So here I am. in that head pin right there. wow that pin got moved like two to three inches right there <laughs> stayed standing the luck that's been going here has been awful oh that's where the pin would have been Again, and that should have been two strikes in a row right there. Two fantastic balls. But again, this is Candlepin Bowling. And this is not a strike game. This is a spare game. The best bowlers make their spares. He loves to hear it. This is a great bowling alley. There's a great bar behind me. It sells all the lemonade you could ever possibly want. Cheap lemonade, too. There are eight lanes in this house. That's it. It's a very small bowling alley, but it's been here since the 1930s. Hey, Bubbles. <laughs> Another split right there. Welcome to Riverwalk, everybody. Home of the splits. <laughs> last time I bowled here, and not the last time, a couple times ago, I had all the splits all day long here. In fact, I. I uh, made a video of that if you want to go back and watch that one. But, oh, what a strike. But they, <clears throat> Dan, right on the head pin again, still. There you go, that's it. That's, wow. That was a beautiful shot. <laughs> Nice game here is a 224. Well, there you go. There you go. Another great ball and another sh terrible uh, split there. <laughs> it's a makeable shot if he. Oh, I mean, that was like an inch off from going. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot. It's hard to put that ball exactly where you want it to. Beautiful shot again, all over the head pin. Just got to punch it straight through. It's just a half Worcester. It's easy. I throw them all the time. <laughs> No, there's never been a 300. 245 is the highest it's ever been done. It's happened twice. There's the way these guys are bowling. You might, you might see one today. There you go. Another beautiful shot right in the pocket. Okay. Again, a makeable spare here. Not an easy one. There you go. Oh, a little bit of curve on that one. But not because he's bowling bad. That is for sure. Come on, keep bowling. All right, that goes. That piece of wood there is a big help. <clears throat> so, in a normal gamer series, with regular bowlers, they want to hit 600. <laughs> I'm 
my personal best. Um, I had a 168 for my high game, and my high series is a 604. Both of those happened in the past year. There you go. Oh, yeah, I've had a I've had a good like year, year and a half of bowling recently. Candle, but it's usually five games. I'm, I mean, it can be three games in more casual leagues, but usually this is five games. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho, ho. <clears throat> yeah. If you've never been to New England, you might not have ever bowled like this, Chet. bubbles i see what you're saying like i don't know if that's just since uh the yeah. richies took over or what but the other sign says 224 for brian fuller so <clears throat> jeffrey scott little taking the number one gifter badge uh this is river walk lanes in amesbury massachusetts Ah, Bangor Brewer. I was just up there recently. Uh, we had a kid's tournament up there. I see what you're saying. Wow! One nine? Wow. That is the one nine get knocked wow. down right there. Hey, that ball. is unbelievable. It's made ball. I play the three-man side. You won't see a worse leave than that right there. That's that's awful. Just the head thing gone. Yeah, you don't see just the head bingo too often, but oh man! Right. Got a little bit of action there to help out. Uh, my grandmother's sister used to own this place when it was Lafayette Lands way back in the day, before Maki took over. Crush that had been. Yeah, this is nowhere in New Jersey. Now this is actually really good with the kids. Well, I was right next to them, also at Lakeside. Of course, you might not remember me because I was so terrible up at Lakeside. Well, that was a good ball too. So this isn't um, league. So there's no no teams here. This is just one on one. League bowling is Tuesday nights. Just off the head bin there. I didn't record on uh, Saturday. Totals coming into this game, Alex. Uh, Keith is up by 38 right now. Oh no, oh no, Dave. I won every single hundred of those dollars from him. It was $20 a game and I beat him all five games. Go right on the head pin again. Oh, man. <laughs> These are nice, warm lands. <laughs> Here we go. That's it. That's, oh, maybe a little lower it might have gone. And 
all depends on uh, what league you're a part of, though. Like some some leagues are four, some leagues are leagues are five, some are just doubles. The one I do is a, a three man team. Me, JT, and Rich Lottie. Now two out of three, Keith. Yeah, this is game four of five. They are moving along so fast. Great ball. So much action up there. I gotta start lifting weights so I can throw it that hard. Just a touch to the right, right there. Yes, he, he throws it very fast. So I know what you're saying, uh, Sam, but uh, you don't want to change your throw too much between different balls. You kind of want to stay relatively sane with your speed. Maybe take a little bit off, but you don't, you don't want to change too, too much. No, this is uh, candle pin bowling, not duck pin. Wow, yeah. I believe he could throw about 45. Yeah, that's probably about right. Keith's got a lot of fans here today watching. <laughs> right down the middle. Strike ball. Go for the easy two. Oof. Look at that pin action fall. So this isn't really a strike game, Jack. It's more of a spare game. So if you do want to hit and throw a strike, you have to throw it hard and fast at one of the pockets, either one two or the one three. It is extremely hard as hell. I mean, look at this. That was right on the head pin. Wow, that is the second time that's happened. Unbelievable. No, you don't want to hook the ball. You want to throw it. You want to throw it hard and straight. I don't know if I've seen the one nine go ever, and now we've seen it twice in just a few boxes. Dan's gonna need those splits to uh, stop being splits. So he's in the pocket, it's just not going today. Some days it goes, some days it doesn't. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, this is pretty much just a New England type of bowling. Anytime it's anywhere. Okay, I'm right in, right on the head pin again, but just. A mess of a leave right there. And he's got plenty of wood to work with. This will this will go, I think. See if he can make that wood dance. Well, two out of three. Two out of three. Oh yeah, if you're just gonna be in Boston, you can go to. Uh, Central Park Lanes <laughs> against Max's team. We only took one game from Max's team. Max's team crushed us last night. Hyde Park, sure. Yeah, there's a lot of nice places around Boston to go candlepin bowling. I didn't know I had a lucky shirt. I really like that shirt that I wore yesterday. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, is that, uh, is that, uh, what is it, Bob's ice cream or something like that? Park. <laughs> That's interesting. I'd like to go try that out. Man, all over that head pin today. That is very frustrating. <laughs> oh, my wow shirt, yep. Yeah, I should wear my wow shirt more often. Okay. Yeah. Keith, all over that head pin. Just where you should be. Again, if that ball is an inch more to the right, that goes. So the ball has to land before that line right there. So you wouldn't throw it through the roof. Accuracy is the most important thing. Once you become accurate, then you can throw it as hard as he does. But you're right, it is extremely hard to be accurate at that speed. But he's good. <clears throat> Whoa, he fell the wrong way. He wanted that pin to fall the other way to knock that pin down. <laughs> Why would you want to see him dial it down? <laughs> oh, nice try. Ah, uh, you missed game one. So Great ball right there. Riverwalk Lanes is also one of the harder lanes to bowl at. Here and how they bowl in other bowling alleys. Yeah, this is a 1v1 match. Uh, Dan versus Keith for the Atlantic Candleman Singles Tour. If you're not following them, you definitely should be. The spare game. Oh, a nice, another nice nine, Phil. This is Candleman bowling. Anything can happen. Throw four strikes in a row, all of a sudden it's anybody's game. Yeah. <laughs> There he goes. That's, a, that's the shot right there. What a shot. Bowling alley is not open to the public right now. They don't open until 5 o'clock. That's why it feels so quiet here. And oh, half an inch. That would have gone. Yeah, it's pretty nice. As a commentator, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want to mess these guys up too much with my commentary. Wow, right on the head, with no luck. Yeah, if you're not from New England, Jake, I mean, that's pretty much the only place Candlepin Bowling is. Wow, nice try. Nice try on that one. Get the 10. I think I've heard of it before. Yeah, Gardner, that makes sense. Ouch. 
See, he had trouble making that shot earlier. He made it just fine now. <laughs> oh, at Beltwells? There he goes, right on the hip pin again. One, two side, it's just not working for him. Yeah, a friend of mine is gonna be bowling up there, making the ball. There you go, nice shot. So, you know, they get three balls, but the first one, if you get them all down, just like in 10 pin, is a strike. If you get them all down on your second ball, it's a spare. The third one is just total pinfall. Everything else is pretty much the same scoring wise as 10 pin. Just the total pin ball is the only difference. Like you can get a 10 in candle pin and you can't get a 10 in uh, 10 pin, obviously. It's either a spare or a strike and that's it. Yeah, the like back pad is closer or farther away. All that stuff matters. If they juice them up a little bit with some uh, spray. <laughs> there are no finger holes on these. No, you just palm the ball. Nice shot. Plus, can you imagine throwing at that speed with finger holes? I feel like you would break a finger off. <laughs> I think Keith probably throws at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. Dan's a lot slower than that, probably like 30, I would guess. There you go. See if Keith can throw one for you. No, not to, not right there, but you'll see some more strikes. Forty-four right now through three. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, especially the TV things. Yes. Yeah, you got to make the good bowlers on TV look really, really good. Uh, there's no oil on the lanes. Nope, these are straight wooden lanes. Uh, like they're treated, but they're not. There's no oil, like you would think in uh, ten pin. Yeah, this place doesn't have electronic scoring. Like usually when I do, um, like at Academy, there's electronic scoring there. So you guys can actually see the scores as it happens. This place is just not like that, that's all. Well, these are two good guys to watch for sure. Uh, so no, they don't really curve the ball. But you, you notice Dan has a little bit of a hook at the end, and that's going to be about the most that you're going to see. Uh, we lost 10 to 2 last night. Yep. There's a, oh, what a shot. What a shot. His last game last night was at 139. He was the best bowler of the entire night last night. Max is the best. Not just because he's my son, either. He's actually a really good bowler. Wow, what a nice hey, Maritime Canada. That's about the only places you're going to see Candlepin bowling. Unless we can start growing the sport, which is what I'm here to do. Trying to get a nice rich person to watch me. Fall in love with the sport. Hire me, pay me lots of money to uh, travel and uh, build all these bowling alleys around the country. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, nice. No, oh, I thought that was a 10. This is uh, Dan's last box of the night. Last frame, as you guys call it. 
Yes. When I win Powerball, I will definitely be building some in Florida. I do actually bowl, yeah. Um, just not with, not against these guys. That's all. Great ball again. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I fully agree. Uh, pretty much no. <laughs> Unless Keith pretty much doesn't bowl, hit another pin. I know at my local place where they have both, the candle pin lanes are almost always full and the 10 pin lanes are only full on like Friday and Saturday nights. When you get the more like casual crowd in there. But like during the day, it's all, the candle pin lanes are all full. But that could just be because we're from New England. And that's what we bowl around here. Oh no! Oh! Oh, great ball there. He found the headpin again. Down to the last three boxes. Nice spare right there. This is Amesbury, Massachusetts. The top right corner of the state. By seven. Still down by two in this game. That is 100% what that was, Bubbles. Yes. There's no oil on these lanes, no. Candle pin lanes don't use oil. Yeah, I like to shoot at the Brooklyn side also. Yeah, this is the, literally the last uh, frame of the day. You get three rolls per frame. Oh, nice spare. Okay, I guess day, right? It's a nice seven 